Well, Mayor Adams laying out budget cuts across every city agency from libraries to schools and even the NYPD. And no surprise, he's blaming the cuts on the migrant crisis. Fox 5's Morgan McKay joins us now in studio with a closer look at which services are going to be cut. Morgan. Stephen Natasha, today's City Hall officials announced they are enacting around $4 billion in budget cuts over the next year and a half that will cancel the hiring of new police officers, slash the education budget by $1 billion, and close libraries on Sundays. City officials say this is all due to the migrant crisis, and without additional federal aid, these cuts will only continue to grow. These cuts will also go into effect immediately. That would mean disruptions to the services we all rely on. In a pre-recorded video, Mayor Eric Adams outlined expansive 5% budget cuts at every city agency that are expected to happen again two more times next year. And nothing is untouched. For the first time in decades, the NYPD will have fewer than 30,000 employees, and they will also be postponing the next five classes of officers. PBA President Patrick Hendry said in part, quote, This is truly a disaster for every New Yorker who cares about safe streets. Cops are already stretched to our breaking point. City Council Finance Chair Justin Brandon agreed that this is not the time to make cuts to public safety. If you talk to most people on the street, they want to see more cops, not less. The city has taken in more than 142,000 migrants since last spring, and the Adams administration blames this crisis for these cuts. City officials say without additional federal aid, these cuts will continue. The Adams administration also plans to make about 20% cuts to migrant services, but wouldn't go into specifics. We're taking a look at everything. One of the first things that we're looking at is the asylum seeker operations and where we can be making savings. Here's a breakdown of some of the other major cuts. For the FDNY, overtime costs will be reduced, any civilian vacancies will be eliminated, as well as light-duty firefighter positions. For the Education Department, $547 million will be cut this fiscal year and another $600 million in 2025. A total of $1 billion will be slashed over two years. Middle schoolers will see reduced hours for the Summer Rising Summer Program, and thousands of spots for universal pre-kindergarten will be cut. Libraries will also see major funding cuts, and library leaders say that starting in December, this will force them to close most of their branches on Sundays. I think this is a moment that really calls for, um, you know, thoughtful, a surgeon's blade, what I've been saying, right? Uh, you, not these wholesale cuts across the board. And these are not the only budget cuts coming. The Adams administration has warned city agencies that they should brace for an additional two rounds of 5% budget cuts early next year, totaling another 10% if the city does not receive more state or federal aid to help with the migrant crisis. Steve? All right. Thanks, Morgan.